Hi, it's Tiffany Verbecki with the Coping with Depression blog at HealthyPlace.com, and I want to talk about reframing how you perceive social interactions to better your brain. Um, my depression has me convinced that I need to withdraw from all of society and just stay home always. It has me convinced that if it takes an hour for a friend to respond to a text that has little to no importance, then it's the end of an era and the friendship is dissolved and over. Which is false because have you seen this face? I'm joking. But it is false because if we are working to maintain relationships, those relationships typically don't just disappear into thin air. Usually there's a bigger drawn out um, form of saying adios to old friends. What I'm working on is reframing various ways that I interact with my friends um, and reframing my understanding of those interactions. For example, like I said earlier, um, if it takes an hour for a friend to respond to a text uh, that I sent that's a picture of a dumb dog you know, jumping into a pool that's too small for it, um, that whole hour it takes for them to respond, I'm worried that I sent them the wrong thing. Oh no, they're not a dog person. Oh, that friendship is gone. I should just not even try anymore. I should block my phone number for them. It's ridiculous because people are busy. The reality is people don't have time to be constantly on their phones. But that depression reality kicks in and it's like, mm, I don't know, if they're not responding, they probably just don't want to talk to you. Forget it. Reframe that reality. People are busy. They're also really forgetful. Sometimes I forget that I got a text. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And it's not a statement of your overall friendship status. You don't need to withdraw because it takes a second to respond. Finally, the other thing that I'm really trying to reframe is my, my understanding of interactions with strangers. Um, we all deal with rude people. We all deal with people who are too busy to give you the time of day. Whether they're working or they're passing by you, whether they bump you on the shoulder, or they run their cart into your Achilles tendon and you get really upset about it. That's, it happens. It happens all the time with so many different people. Should not expect strangers to know exactly what we need. So if they treat us negatively, it's probably not a slight against our mental health status. It's probably just people treating others negatively. They forgot that they left their oven on and they need to go fix that, so they need to cut line at Starbucks to get their coffee. Do you? So reframing what's going on around us, kind of really reaching into what's, what's reality so that depression's reality doesn't come punch us in the brain and say, mm, you just shouldn't be interacting with people. It's really important. And practicing reframing has actually made it a little easier to forgive myself when it comes to um, maybe an awkward interaction with someone making coffee or a weird text that I sent that I didn't mean to, but you know, it was draft one of five. People are difficult to interact with. Depression is difficult to have while also interacting with people. So work hard at reminding yourself of reality, of understanding better what's going on around you so that when you're really feeling like things are bad, you can remind yourself that things are actually okay with people. We're just really complicated.